everybody, I'm Luna. Welcome back to Luna Oi. Earlier this year, the Prime Minister of Laos paid an official visit to Vietnam, and just a month ago, the Communist Party of Laos extended official congratulations for the 92nd anniversary of the founding of the Communist Party of Vietnam, signaling the long, close relationships between our socialist nations and our respective communist parties. Vietnam has been in the news quite a lot over the last few years for our successes in building prosperity and modernizing our infrastructure. But Laos tend to get looked over by the international press as a socialist success story. That's not true. Here in Vietnam, however, as the Vietnamese people have long paid close attention to the development and struggles of Laos to build a successful path towards socialism. Vietnam and Laos have a long relationship with each other, so much so that the Vietnamese government officially and uniquely referred to this relationship as a great friendship, which is the highest status of relationship Vietnam has with another country. Vietnam and Laos are neighboring countries which share a lot of similarities. Vietnam and Laos were simultaneously heavily colonized by the French and then occupied by fascist Japan. We both declared our independence in 1945, both won revolutionary victories against the colonialist France in 1954 after they tried to retake so-called Indochina, and then we both won the war against the US in 1975. The modern relationship between socialist movements in Vietnam and Laos can be said to have begun in the late 1930s and early 1940s, when Su Phan Vong, also known as the Red Prince, met Ho Chi Minh in Vietnam. When Vietnam gained our independence in 1945, Ho Chi Minh immediately invited Su Phan Vong to Hanoi for an official meeting. This was the first important step forward for what would become a long and great relationship between Laos and Vietnam. Another important shared struggle in the great relationship between our two countries was the Ho Chi Minh Trail. During the resistance war against colonialist France and then the imperialist USA, communist fighters of both countries, the North Vietnam Army as well as Pathet Laos, fought shoulder to shoulder, sharing everything we had to fight against our enemies as we built and maintained the Ho Chi Minh Trail to supply troops and material to our comrades in the south of Vietnam. During the 1960s, tens of thousands of Laosian comrades in many provinces in central and southern Laos agreed to leave their villages to help us build and fight on Ho Chi Minh Trail. As a direct result of this assistance, Laos was heavily bombed by the USA, and Asian Orange was also sprayed all over the central and south of Laos. Deputy Prime Minister and Defense Minister of Laos, General Chan Samon Chan Yalath, remarked, we have reserved all the land of four provinces and many districts in the south for Vietnamese comrades to use in building forces and transporting troops, supplies, and technical equipment to the battlefield. American bombs and bullets destroyed this road heavily. The provinces of Bolikamse, Kamuan, Savanahet, Salavan, Sehong, Atapeo were heavily damaged by enemy bombs and bullets, destroying whole villages and districts. The same thing happened in Vietnam. Vietnam won the Vietnam War in April 1975, and right after that, in December 1975, Pathet Laos, with the support from Vietnam, also carried out a successful revolution to overthrow the U.S.-backed royal state and successfully formed Lao People's Democratic Republic, a socialist state. The traditional solidarity between the two countries continues to flourish in peacetime. In the 70s, 80s, and 90s, Vietnam and Laos worked very closely with each other to overcome our hardships together. This was a tough time for both Laos and Vietnam. Vietnam at that time was still under comprehensive embargoes initiated by the USA, and Laos was one of our very rare but important trading partners along with other countries such as Cuba and the USSR. They have supplied Vietnam with food, clothes, medicines, and many other things. In turn, Vietnam sent workers and engineers to help Laos build infrastructure such as roads and hydraulic power plants. My dad was one of 200 Vietnamese students who received a special scholarship to study heavy construction in the USSR for three years. And then right after that, he spent the next 10 years living and building roads for our comrades in Laos. You can hear my dad's whole story about his time in Laos in his own words on my channel Luna Ơi. These exchanges continue to this day. Every year, Vietnam also gives about 1,200 scholarships to Laosian students to study in universities in Vietnam. And when COVID-19 broke out, Vietnam was the first country to send medical supplies and doctors to Laos. As you know, Laos is the only landlocked country in Southeast Asia, which creates difficulties for the Lao economy. To assist with these problems, Laos have received a lot of support from both China and Vietnam. 
China has allowed to build high-speed rails, making it an important overland hub for the region. And for our part, since the year 2000, Vietnam has been helping Laos to build highways and railroads to connect our two countries. Vũng Ngang is one of Vietnam's deep sea ports and is also the closest deep sea port to Laos. In 2009, Vietnam and Laos together established the Lao Viet International Port Joint Stock Company. And since then, Vietnam and Laos together have been developing Vũng Ngang International Port together. In this very important project, Laos owns 60% of this international port and Vietnam only owns 40%. This important project, along with the planned high-speed railway, which we began building together in 2018, will finally connect Laos to an international shipping port under its own control. Once completed, this railroad will be 555 kilometers long. It is expected to cost about 5 billion US dollars and should be completed by 2024. Besides this railroad, Vietnam and Laos are also working together on the Vientiane Hanoi Highway. The estimated distance of this major road will be about 725 kilometers, and it too will cost about 5 billion US dollars. Once this project is completed, our nations will be more closely connected than ever, as we will have a direct link between our two capital cities. When addressing the special relationship and history between Vietnam and Laos, Senior Lieutenant General of Laos, Vilay Lakham Phong, affirmed that during the past years, the Lao Revolution could not succeed without support and help from Vietnamese friends, just as the Vietnamese Revolution could not succeed without the help of the Laotian people. I will end this report with the words from our Laotian comrade, President Khe Son Phong Bihan. In the history of world revolutions, there have been many shining examples of the international spirit of the proletariat, but nowhere and never has there been such a special, lasting, and comprehensive relationship as the relationship between our two peoples. Mountains may wear out, rivers may dry up, but the friendship between Laos and Vietnam is forever stronger than mountains and rivers. For my part, I hope that all comrades around the world can build such strong ties as those which connect Vietnam and Laos. And I hope that our united struggle can serve as an inspiration for all of you, wherever you are, to build an internationalist movement in which all workers of the world are able to unite. Thank you for watching and see you next week! Hi, I'm Luna. Thank you for supporting Luna Ơi! Every week, I bring you live stream and videos about Vietnamese food, culture, politics, and history. I fight back against misinformation about the people of Vietnam and our path to socialism and teach you all about things like labor laws and unions, elections, and the history of our revolutionary struggles, and a lot more. I also interview indigenous comrades and comrades in the global south to give you political perspectives you don't usually find on western political channels. I'm also translating lots of Vietnamese socialist literature and art, including our entire academic curriculum on scientific socialism, Ho Chi Minh's writing on cadre training and revolutionary ethics, films about our revolutionary history, and more. If you can support me on Patreon or camaraderie, I will really appreciate it and it will allow me to bring you more content every week. If you want to learn more, just check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash lunaoi. Donations from viewers like you allow me to make this content. So thank you all so much for all of your support.